Randomine Luna. Okay. Lena. No need to be modest if you can shoot flames from your fingertips. This blade looks a little too wide to cut into people. Doesn't it? Like there's so much brunt force. Who makes a sword that thick? Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Nova could use a snack. All right, so I'm gonna be on a safe lane. Quickly now. Come, come. Prepare for battle. Come, Nova. I'll just go typical item build. Hey, you this is the Purge. Bring you a first person gameplay commentary. I'm gonna be playing Luna today, and uh, gonna be I don't I don't know what the last time I played Luna is. Uh, at least for the vods, I played her the other night in a scrim. I failed terribly. So hopefully I play a little bit safer this game, but um, she's one of the best carries in the game right now. Top three, Luna, Lifestealer, Gyrocopter are the most popular. Um, looks yes. like we're going to be laning with Kenneget here. He has that bejazzled set. Solar, Divine, whatever. Same thing, uncommon hair. The skirt is rare, but the hair is apparently not. Okay. So yeah, let's talk about Luna. Um, max out Lucent Beam first, get Eclipse at 6. Get a couple lunar blessings and then later game, later in the game, meet Moonglaive. Um, I'm gonna be. It's actually gonna be a pretty serious game because they have a PL, so I'm gonna have to try to counter a PL this game. PL is also one of the top two carries. Eosin likes Silver. Silver is good. I'm gonna start off with a lunar blessing. This gives me and my allies 14 damage, and then um, should help us harass and last hit. I'm gonna get beam at 2 3. Okay, Ogre Magic, I got it. Yeah, it's just a DD. What was it? Far the night. DD. Okay. Triant. Triant's got such a slow ass animation. Poor Triant. Stalking. Yeah, trailing top. So it's right where I want the creeps to be. Good plan. Yes. yes, that's my first last hit. Definitely not gonna be the last. That's for damn sure. We ride. <laughs> Taste my steel. No range creep. Let's go. Oh no, the creeps got too close to the tower. I didn't actually think I was going to hit that one. Oh, it's, it's where things get tough though, because I basically just like mega pushed. Can't deny any of these. I accidentally pushed. Got within tower range. So this Beastmaster is going to get way more EXP. Actually, it doesn't even look like he's here. I'll actually push it back again. A little greedy there. Really want to push this back, and sometimes you miss last hits to do it. Gonna check bot lane. I mean bot room. Blessings upon a loyal warrior. The hunt. On the hunt. Yo, ogre man, get from top room. Yo, room's top and ogre man. Illuminate. Back it up. He's got a rune. He's coming mid. Yes. That's a first blood. Your middle tower is under attack. First blood. Fuck. Just a little. I'm the best fight. Luna in the game. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. Me too. You won't escape. Yes. Starlight. Let's go. 
His poor little sword rolled to the ground. Salamene commands. I should have nuked that one. Oh god. Misclicked. Thank you, base tower, for last sitting well. And now the waves will go equal again. Unless... Get really unlucky, and my catapult range creep loves the other catapult range creep. There we go. Shit is under control. Who dares? What do you see? Yeah. Quickly now. A new moon. Yes. Room top again, Quap got it. Heads up. Hmm, that one might be. Yes. Yeah, I thought I was gonna lose that one. Let's go. Lose this one too. This catapult dicked everything up. Six and like one EXP, so we might want to fight this. Absolutely. I can TP anytime. Let's go. There's an air shaker there. We ride. Shouldn't have wasted that mana. I don't have my ulti anymore. I'm gonna reward this. Weakling. I knew I could eat the yes. As soon as I got blocked, I just looked for an opening, and that's what I saw as an escape. So we are okay. Pretty common build for Luna is a Tranquils into a Drum of Endurance. The reason you get the Drum is because any any agility caster hero is going to usually need that kind of stuff. Last time I played the uh, Luna roll, I ended up skipping. Um, I got a Ring of Aquila, which was a mistake. So I think I'm just gonna stick towards um, just the just the tranquil boots. I think and the drum. I'm gonna get the drum though for sure. Okay, oops! I really gotta get into this habit. So, mana, our HP regen is going up. I don't need you in lane here. The more solo EXP that you can give oops, to a carry, the better, almost always. Unless he's like really close to 6 or something, which he's not. He just got level 4. Sick last hits. Quickly now. Somebody's cooking. Yeah. Real bad. Sorry, I'm playing shit. No, you found the quad. 
Yo, Rico, we missed Mm, I'm gonna get one cleave here. This Beastmaster is six. Comes the old drum. That gives me a bunch of HP. So now my HP and my mana and all that stuff are much higher than they were. Also, the lane will now inadvertently push their three heroes mid, and that is terrifying. Be pretty careful though. It's a hawk bot. Of course, I can TP too if needed. If anything goes down. Next item I will be getting is a BKB. Manta might not be bad either though. Now I'm gonna have to BKB for sure because of the. Uh, they have an Ogre Magi and stuff, so I will need magic immunity. Earthshaker as well would be a problem. Manto would just make Earthshaker worse, and qu avoiding Queen of Pain from killing me would also be a good thing. Wish this wave would push a little more. Could have maybe eclipsed that guy, but. Probably could have gone for it. I knew that he couldn't see me. Uh, the Lunar Blessing gives me max night vision, same as day vision, so I could have maybe ultied that, but he does have a lot of HP, and it can only hit him four times. I guess I could have gotten the kill, but since there's two heroes here, I'm playing it pretty safe. There's two heroes bought. Alright, I'm going to nuke them. Okay, so maybe could have thrown it. I'm playing pretty conservative right now. As soon as I get the next thousand, I will purchase the all HP. I don't want to push this lane to be honest, so I'm going to start auto attacking a little bit. And the reason I want to get this Ogre Club as fast as possible is just because I do have to worry about dying. And there we go. I have a thousand HP. Good stuff. Wolfman, you should come bottom. We should push this. Maybe with uh, another hero as well. Sure, coming. Bring my train. Absolutely. I should probably have everybody bought. I got more trains in eight seconds too. Sees all. Yeah, we have the lunar blessing, so we have a pretty big team fight. Right click right now. Um, can I get you to be here? On the hunt. Quickly now. Whoop. Oh god, if I got roared there. Absolutely. Alright, retreat. That uh, Beastmaster came way too far forward. So I took the kill. Far the night. Here. Let's take this tower. Crescent steel. Run, 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 run. Your top tower is under attack. Stalking. Pop the drum, run away. Good stun. No deaths. Alright. It was a good stun. That was pretty scary. They also oh left whatever safe place that their PL was farming and now he came to the bot lane. That's four in a row. They just went looking through the jungle for us. 
Ogre's only level 4. Windrunner has been killed. Oops. Shit, I gotta take this tower. So Try not to fight, I'm gonna take a tower. Looks like they're gonna fight. Heads up. My the we enemy's ride. bottom tower has fallen. Got a tower. I'm gonna go jungle in the meantime because I don't want to spend too much time just sitting here not doing anything. So to the jungle I go. Almost got ulti as well, so we have a very small advantage right now, but it's pretty good. Oh, those are just solutions. Hey. Oh. Really? Anything? Is it just a bunch of people outside again? Alright, Peel got go. top. Let's try to force one, I've still got ulti. Death approaches. I think we can do what this. I guess. Alright, I'm just gonna TV top. Your top tower is under attack. Need to get eleven, almost eleven. They will find my blade sharp and cool. Really under level. He's got a diffusal blade. That sucks. Yes. I'm gonna go heal and then we can try to fight mid. On the hunt. Wish I had BKB though. Should be making shit happen, but we're not making shit happen right now. Two. Absolutely. Oh no, it's like 10 HP away. Oh, he had the haste. Well, that sucks. Sorry, guys. I should have been there. No, I should have loosened beamed her though. I was not there. Oh shit. <laughs> Straight runner. Gale's pushing top. Well, do we have a dust or anything? I almost have BKB, but I keep running around trying to fight. Uh, it's fucking crazy. He needs to be so careful. So he needs so much fucking time running around not accomplishing anything. Let's just push. We need to push shit. Your 
bottom tower has fallen. See, they've gotten our towers and shit. Dyer's structures yes. are fortified. Guys, right click this. God damn it. Don't soul find your solo. You're not gonna get him. We ride. They're just kind of counter pushing. God, he's already got a sheep stick. That's not a good sign. In fact, that's really bad. Old man's gonna die. I had to BKB there because of the uh, ogre. Your top tower I'll hold it. Dying there was not good. I got the deny at least. Just gonna cost their team a lot of gold, but me dying solo to the PL is not good. I think the PL has quite a few kills. He's got three, he's doing pretty well. And we're not doing a very good job ganking him, so I'm kind of concerned. I don't think um, we maybe had an active enough mid, um, and, but that's because Aosin was playing the Exhort. The Exhort build is pretty, is pretty stationary. Like you kind of just sit there and farm mid and look for sun strikes, and it looks like the Queen of Pain got a lot of farm out of it. So I have to be really careful in team fights because if she just like blinks in and jumps on me, I die. And we also didn't have wards up. We try to kill her. Can you can you stun get over here? Never mind, gotta run. Good plan. Peel's counter pushing again. We're spending way too much time farming jungles, I think. So I feel like we're just uh, uh we shouldn't fight. I can say 40 movement speed. Your top tower is under That's attack. pretty good. Yes. I don't know, we have a nature's prophet and we can't have map control to be honest. The night sees all. This isn't looking good. 
We need wards up and stuff. Yeah, I know. Let's go. On the hunt. Stuff like that's gonna lose us the game. Your middle tower has fallen. Yes. Let's do so much damage. See, I think we need to actually. We need to force team fights, but we're just kind of like. Well. Okay. Okay. We should have lost that team fight. I mean, he did a lot of damage. But their team wasn't there, obviously. We have no map control. Quickly now. No, no. We should just like spam Prophet ulti and push his five or something. You want me to spam Prophet ulti? Yeah, I think so. Because we have no fucking map control. Like we literally have zero. Kill this guy. That was fucking stupid. Oh god. Just misclicking hard. That roar is clutch as fuck. I thought I was gonna be able to get a lot of kills with it. Well, you did TP in the middle of like four guys with nothing more than a right click. You mean an orchid? Yeah, I did. Your middle tower is under attack. I thought we were gonna be able to catch them. I was maybe a little too. I would have felt too generous with my ulti. Radiant structures are fortified. We ride. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower has fallen. He's just too farmed. I almost had to go like Midas or something to beat this guy. Yes. Feels really hard hero to kill. And I, we spent way too much time mid-game just running in circles trying to get team fights. And all they did was turtle, basically. They just kind of turtled and split pushed, and we couldn't actually stop them. I don't know how well Aosin did mid, but he, he had a lot of trouble this game, actually. I think we, we needed... The game was close, I think. I'm not saying that, like, we got owned or anything, but I think what needed to happen was we needed Aosin to have a more active mid-roll that involved ganking a PL, and if PL got ganked and stuff... Whoops. I'm sorry. My TP, there I am. Ah, oh, that hit me. Well, that sucks. 
I know what a lot of the Chinese teams do is they do a lot of pushing with Luna around level 6, and we never did that. We basically, I just kept farming my lane, but I think Wolfman should have shifted over with Lena, and we should have pressured this tower much, much, much earlier. We didn't kill this until I was like level 9, and we should have pushed this at like a level, level when I was level 6, probably. Before the Beastmaster was 6, before the Queen of Pain probably had any major items. I mean, the, the Ogre Magi was there a lot, but I don't think there was any, yeah. We yeah, needed to take bot tower around my six with NP and Lena. Maybe one run or two. Like, then ganks on PL. Like I I didn't know how much farm you wanted. If you were doing pretty well to take farm the lane. Yeah, that's true, that would have been good. But we're gonna lose now. We were the game was close, but it's very That's the real one, I think. Can Manta style, man. Well, Dean 40. I don't know where the five men necessarily was, but. Yes. Looks like our Windrunner kind of got crapped on, too. He didn't really accomplish a whole lot. Yes. I do not want to get hexed. I'm going to get hexed. Considering TPing out, but but yeah, for a 30 minute game, Windrunner has zero items. This is absolutely nothing. If you farm well, you would have these items at like I don't know, 15 something like that at the latest. He was in a long lane, which is obviously difficult, but the fact that he has absolutely nothing at 30 minutes and he's only died like two times is is pretty crazy. So I think our major problems this game, Windrunner got no farm. And um, our invoker wasn't a big enough presence. He died a couple too many times and we didn't kill the we didn't shut down the PL and we didn't push towers fast enough, so that's why we lost. I think I had options to be able to kill this PL, but he had to be at least slightly shut down by my allies, and that never happened, so we deserve to lose. Those were just illusions, wow. Let's go. Your top barracks are under attack. The night sees all. Quickly now. Your top barracks are under attack. Your top barracks has fallen. What the enemy see? now has mega groups. Your middle tower is under attack. Good plan. We ride. In the battle. Salamene commands. <laughs> Run them down. Hold them off. So scary. Your middle tower is under attack. 
On the hunt. Your middle tower has fallen. Your ancient is under attack. Oh my god. The Fisher block. So yeah, I, I think that was the main issue. Oh god, yeah, look at Windrunner's GPM 181. He played really bad. He had no farm. That was the main issue, I think. Not enough action early on, and our Windrunner had no no farm. So, yep, that is it. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching, guys.